In this video, I'm going to show you this quick and easy text growing effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you first want to begin by creating a new title. So I'm going to do this through the legacy title window. So we'll go file, new, legacy title. We'll press OK on this title. Of course, you can rename that if you want, but I'm just going to leave it as title one. And then in this window, we're just going to type out our word, our phrase, our text, whatever we're doing, we're just going to add this into here. So I'm just going to type out Brooker Films. Then I'm just going to change the font to Avenir. I'm going to add some weight. I'm going to increase the scale. And then I'm just going to change the color to white and we'll center this up. Now, once you've created your text, normally I would just say, go ahead, exit out of this window and drop this into your sequence. But the problem is that we need this to be a little bit larger than what we want. Because we're adding a scale effect later on, we want to increase the scale of the legacy title to avoid quality loss later on. So even though we want the title to be this big, I'm going to increase the font size to around 200% and center this up. Just make sure that when you're doing this, the font isn't that big that it falls over the edges because we won't see the first and the last letter. So pull this down to around 200, 250, just make sure it's in there and then center this up. Now we'll exit the legacy title window and we'll drop that title onto our sequence. Now from here, we'll go up to the top left into the effect controls tab. And if you can't see effect controls, go into window, scroll down to effect controls and make sure there is a tick there. Now from here, we'll go into motion tab and we can go into scale and we'll decrease the scale to a number that we're happy with. So around there, that's how I had it before. That's how I had it before I increased the font size. But of course, if we're adding a scale effect, then we're going to want to start around here and then end around here. So at the beginning of the video, I'm going to start with the scale at around 60%. Make sure the cursor is at the very beginning, so zero, zero seconds. Create a brand new keyframe on the scale by selecting the toggle animation button. Then we'll scroll to the end of that title or to the point where you want this animation to stop. And then we'll just increase the scale to a larger number. So we'll go 70%. And that means from the beginning of this all the way up until this keyframe here at four seconds, it is going to grow from 60 to 70%. Now, if you wanted that to be a quicker grow, then you can just decrease the gap between these frames and that will scale up a lot quicker. Or if you wanted this to be slower, then you just increase the gap between those keyframes and it's going to take longer to get to that second point. Of course, though, if you wanted a more dynamic growing effect, then you can just increase the scale up to a much higher number. So let's go 100%, pull that to the end. And when we play this back, it's going to take around five seconds to go from 60 to 100. And of course, you can do the same in reverse. So let's swap these keyframes over. So the first keyframe is 99 and the second keyframe is 60. Now, when we play this back, we're starting at 99 and it's going to take five seconds to animate back down to 60. And there you go. Now, my personal tip when it comes to adding these animations in is to add keyframe interpolation. It sounds complicated, but it's actually really easy. So we'll select that second keyframe. We'll select the first keyframe. Make sure both are selected. So hold shift to select them both. We'll right click on one of those and go to ease in. Essentially, by changing these keyframes to an ease in keyframe, we're adding a slow acceleration into the first keyframe and we're slowing down into the second keyframe. So rather than starting and then aggressively stopping at the end point, it's going to slowly calm down to that second keyframe. It makes the animation look a lot more professional in my personal opinion. There you go. You can see at the end of this how it just slowly calms down to a stop. And that looks great. Of course, if you wanted the title to hold there for an extra few seconds, just extend the title or you can pull the keyframe back if you want. So we'll pull the keyframe back to here. Animation and it holds. But there you go. That is the basics of how you add a growing animation effect to your title right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you in a future video. See you there.